Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Salt Intuition Tarot. Y'all like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. And I really do appreciate y'all being with me. We're going to get an ancestor message for you. If y'all also would check out my shorts, I have daily messages for your son. We have a mother's love. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So for some of y'all that have a passed on mother or a mother figure, they're wanting to tell you this message today. All right, let's get on with your reading. This is a general reading, may or may not resonate. Uh, take what does and leave the rest. And here we go for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know for their highest good spirit? We have temperance. So the number 14. It means uh, it's a Sagittarius card and it means having patience. And you're patiently waiting to make an offer. What are you patiently waiting to make an offer? Somebody's going to make you an offer that you have been patiently waiting for. And that has to do with your happiness. It's going to make you very happy when you're able to make an offer or you're pa patiently waiting to make an offer that's going to make you or the person in your life very happy with the Ten of Cups. What else do we have? We have Five of Pentacles. For some of y'all, you have uh, stayed to yourself a lot. I see with the Five of Pentacles. Sometimes you felt left out in the cold. And that is only because you have kept yourself from being around other people. Why have you done this, Capricorn? Why have you kept yourself from people? Three of Pentacles. Has to do with teamwork, a partnership. We also had the magician in reverse, not being able to make it work with someone. So you kept yourself from actually moving forward to make a, uh, you know, commitment or going towards something you have to be committed to because you felt like you were un unable to make it work. The tower, you found out some things that, you know, if your place is not built on a firm foundation, your beliefs, then the tower comes. You may have learned something that shook it up, and that's why you are not able to manifest. Because when spirit sees you doing the same thing over and over, it comes in to help you out for your highest good. And you may not have been able to manifest a partnership with someone. It's because they left you out in the cold. We also have the Knight of Wands. We also have Three of Swords. And the Four of Wands. So it looks like some friends have really let you down and really hurt you. You had some people from the past that have hurt you. And for some of y'all, you've had a lot of things coming at you at the same time with the Seven of Wands. But you did get justice over the situation. So if there's, it looks like somebody's defending themselves. You did get justice. You had the strength to overcome. We also had the Page of Wands. The Six of Wands. And the Ace of Pentacles. Looks like y'all are very successful when it comes to your um, work situation. You are on the right path when it comes to whatever it is that you do to make money. If you're not successful, it looks like you're going to be with the Six of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Maybe it's a new job. Or a new experience. But it looks like it's going to be very successful.
we have the King of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. And we have the Queen of Cups. So it looks like that you are trying to figure out which way you need to go in love and how to speak your truth when it comes to love. And it's calling you to take a leap of faith when it comes to love. Figure out what it is that you want when you are in a love partnership and go out and make it happen. We also have the lover's card that is coming to a partnership or deciding to take a path and make a commitment with someone. And that's the two of swords. You may be at a crossroads and not know if that's the right thing for you at this time. Spirit is telling you that you feel like uh, you've not been told the truth in the past. Knight of Cups, this person may have not been truthful in how they expressed their love or said they were in love with you. That's for some of y'all that have had something like that happen in the recent past. Now let's go future forward. What's going to happen with Capricorn and their love life in the future? What's the future for Capricorn's love life? What's the future for Capricorn's love life, Spirit? We need to know what the future is for Capricorn's love life. Too many cards. What's the future? Knight of Swords and the world. So it's going to be an end of a karmic cycle. So all those karmics that you have to deal with, uh, you're going to be able to move forward really quickly and have a new start when it comes to love. And you're not going to accept someone that comes in and does not tell you the truth when it comes to expressing their love. If they're not showing you love, you're not going to take it as love. Get some love, Island Time Wellness Oracles, and see if there's something you need to know. Capricorn. Mask. It looks like somebody was not showing their true feelings and was hiding and pretending. They could have also been gaslighting you. So, if they did something that was hurtful to you, it looks like they turned it on you. What else do we have for Capricorn? What else do we have for Capricorn? We have, I like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting and want to date. So, you do have someone that maybe you don't know about, or maybe you do, that really likes you. And they, uh, you know, they want to date you. See what signs that could be. Capricorn, what signs could be thinking they want to date you? We have an Aries and a Gemini. We also have Virgo for some of you. We get out these new cards and see if there's anything you need to know. What does Capricorn need to know? Some of y'all are very creative people. You need to show that to the world. And know that even though you feel bound and trapped sometimes, there is a solution for every problem. Y'all need to think about what it is that you need to let go of in order to manifest your dreams. And the magic you seek is inside you. So let that flow. You also have merge with the flow. And y'all are leaders. So now it's time to lead. 
You may need to lead a person. You may need to lead yourself. Uh, cleanse yourself and detox from all the hurtful things that you went through. And cleanse and restore yourself. It says you belong to paradise. So you, number 24, could be significant. Other numbers that I have that could be significant are... 23, 22, 24, 3, 21, 30, 36, and 28. What is the advice for Capricorn? What's some advice I can share with Capricorn? Keep working. Whatever you're working on, keep working to get over your heartbreak. Whatever it is, um, you're going to get over it. If you are heartbroken, you're going to be able to get over this. I know it take, feel like it takes a long time, but you are going to have an offer of love. Someone that loves you very much and love yourself. This is going to help you to get out of your head. the Capricorn need to know and you got the fool again which is telling you to take a leap of faith try something new don't go back and do the same thing you used to king of pentacles looks like y'all are going to be very successful or you're going to have somebody that really is stable coming in your life they want you to take a leap of faith and have patience because the person you seek is coming in. All right, Capricorn, that was your message. As always, thank you for being here. Until next time.